All right, babe, uh, this is 14,691. This is just down the street a little bit from the one we checked out the other day. So it's a little different, but uh, a lot the same. It's uh, got a nice big area here, another unit's up above us. This would be uh, our garage right here. Uh, the garage over there is for the upstairs folks. So that's the garage and inside the garage is kind of nice. There's a little bit more space inside the garage. I'll show you that when we get to it. Uh, so here's the entry. One thing that's different about this one is that the uh, kitchen is white, but the walls in here aren't green, which is a significant upgrade. This one's listed at 299. Same entry shapes. I'm going to start to the left as I did with the other one. Uh, there's a little office. They've created a, just a sitting room out of it. Uh, you notice that throughout this, they've got the wooden fold-up, fold-down shutters. And you'll see that repeated throughout. Ceiling fan, no light on that ceiling fan. So this is probably a light switch to a light up that light over in the corner. Uh, same kind of laundry area. Uh, you got a sink, laundry area, little bar to hang some stuff on. Uh, washer and dryer, older style, which is better in my opinion than the front loading new cabinets out here. Uh, looks like they've got a security system. I don't know if that'd be one we'd want to use or not. Now this garage is longer. This is a 24 foot long garage this direction. So there is room for some cabinets against this wall. There's a little storage space up under this area here or it must be a stairway for the other unit. And then over in the corner is the water heater. Let's see what age that is. If we decide to move on, on this. What I really like about this one though is that their recycle and trash containers, there's room without taking up doorway because there's a bigger gap. You see that push broom there. So there's a couple of feet anyway. And that's something I've been looking for in the garages as you well know breaker box out here. All right, we'll go back to the guest bedroom. Uh, this closet here is furnace, and there's a little bit of room in there too. They've thrown their sweepers in there. So guest bedroom, same as the other in terms of size, but the color here is a mute tan. Uh, again, you get the knickknack area up above, six foot closet. Off to the side. Uh, the color scheme in here is so much more welcoming than the other one. Guest bathroom, uh, pretty much the same as the other. It's a gold slider, but it's in great shape. Everything's clean. They have upgraded all their fixtures to this silver and gold two-tone. Uh, it'll be true in the master bath when we see that as well. So that's kind of a nice little touch. Nice light setup above. And they put a little settee there in the entry. So this is the main room. And again, it looks so much bigger when it's not in green. So main front room. And they've got it laid out in the same direction with the TV off to the left. So this uh, is laid out in the same orientation as the other one. And they got a couple of chairs in front of their sliders. I don't know about that. I'd kind of leave the slider area open. And again, those are sliders that could all be stacked together so you have a big opening there. And the similar kind of blinds with the twist and slide to the side as mom has at her place. Uh, no big changes here on the master, except the mini blinds on the other unit versus these nice wooden, I really like these, quick and easy open shut blinds. Same kind of blinds uh, out to the lanai. Now they've got a whole dining room table of six out at the lanai and still some room out there. So we'll see that here in a minute as well. <clears throat> so bedroom, uh, again, a walk-in closet on the right. Uh, they've done this walk-in a little bit differently. It's uh, about three, six, probably at an eight foot deep and uh, seven foot wide. And they've laid theirs out just a little differently in here. And then across from it is a six foot closet, standard six footer. Nothing different there. Uh, same thing as your other one. You had a linen cabinet. 
next to it. Again, this, we're still in the hall on the way to the master bath. And the master bath laid out identically to the other one. A uh, soaker tub there, small vanity and sink on one side uh, for me, and the bigger vanity and sink on the other side for you. And instead of having that medicine cabinet on my side, the medicine cabinet is over on uh, your side with the upgraded fixtures. I really like those fixtures better than the ones I've seen in other places. And got nice lighting and a commode room with fan and light. And unlike the one we looked at before, this one uh, has the door still in place. They uh, didn't remove it. And a uh, nice shower. Nicely tiled. Tile looks all in good shape. A seat for you to uh, do your legs. Open the door. Nice fixtures. A little nook for some shampoos. Seating spot there. All right. That's the uh, master. Let's go over and take out the uh, lanai and we'll finish in the kitchen. Out to the lanai and they too have a roll down sunshade. Obviously afternoon sun's coming in down through there. Uh, they put a chaise out here with a table and then their full dining uh, table out here as well. And uh, there's little eyelets down at the bottom for the hurricane assemblies and little eyelets up at the top that handle you know, those hurricane shutters as well. They're in the garage. You put them up manually. They looks like they've tinted or put in windows that have hurricane resistance out here. Probably just tinted. But those four panels all slide together so you can have a pretty open area facing the front room. And there's that front room. And they too decorated some of this rather than leaving it open. Kind of like the idea of having an open, open out to the lanai. Uh, so their kitchen, they've uh, put a small dining table, about the size of our kitchen table, uh, right here. And then they've got some seating at the bar. And uh, theirs is a whiter, uh, older appliance kitchen. And the price reflects that. It's a $2.99 price point. They've got uh, the shorter cabinets rather than the tall with room up top like we have at home. Uh, not as much room as we have at home in terms of wine racks, but knickknacks and stuff. They too have the six can lights uh, for the ceilings. There's plenty of light here in this kitchen. And white cabinets, white appliances. Uh, Terry pointed out that this countertop would go well with stainless. So if we wanted to replace with three stainless or four stainless, appliances that look really nice. Uh, not crazy about the white sink, but uh, newer faucet set on it. And then they too have the uh, small pantry to the right of the fridge. Uh, about the size of ours. Better lit though. And uh, that's it.